Hey guys, before we jump into today's video, we just want to let you know that we have teamed up with Wanda to make our own personal booking page for you guys where you can get massive savings up to 70% off our hotels just like this one. All around the world, we even have our own curated list of our preferred hotels of places we've stayed at. You don't need anything to sign up, it's completely free. All you need is an email address or a Facebook account to sign up. So click the link down below, save a lot of money on hotels like we do. So we've been in Vegas for about 10 nights and we spent the first six nights staying at the Sahara Hotel, which it's not the most expensive hotel, but it is pretty nice. It's been remodeled and it's up the end of the strip. Unfortunately, it happened to be Veterans Day and we had to move to a cheaper hotel because prices basically tripled. And so we moved to the Strat, which is actually a really nice hotel. It didn't have very good reviews at all. When I went and looked online, um, a lot of the reviews said that it was very old, it was in a very bad area, uh, the building's very outdated, it was just not very positive reviews at all. Because we didn't want to spend too much more money, we decided to give it a go and we're actually pleasantly surprised. So we're going to give you a bit of a tour of the Strat Hotel, which is, I believe, on any given day, the cheapest hotel on the Strip. So full disclosure, there are cheaper like motels and hotels on the strip, but this is the cheapest casino resort that's actually on Las Vegas Boulevard. Also another big thumbs up for me because most hotels don't do that and um, three o'clock check-in I think is pretty late so that was good experience for us. I was actually really disappointed that you have to pay to get in literally anywhere to watch the UFC. Um, I was really excited to watch UFC in Vegas and I didn't realise just how expensive it would be but this joint was really good. So overall the gambling and the slot area, just the whole casino area is pretty much the same as everywhere else that we've gone into. So we don't see a huge difference, especially with it being the cheapest place to be. Um, if that's what you're into, I don't think you're going to be disappointed. probably my favorite part of the casino and most of them seem to have these sports books um, you can literally just sit here and watch every sport that's going on and gamble on them at the same time but again I was a bit disappointed that you couldn't do it with the UFC but I do understand why we might grab a beer and watch a bit of Monday Night Football here So this is a little hack that we figured out is you just buy the beers from the gift store and bring them into the sports section so you don't have to go to the bar and spend twice as much.
actually a pretty decent gym. It's way better than the gym of the Sahara. Most mornings in the gym, it does get quite busy in there because it's like a real proper gym, but really nice. We didn't realize that there's actually a McDonald's just outside of it though, <laughs> which is pretty dangerous. Probably a good thing we didn't know about it. <laughs> We could have used this the day after our wedding. We should have. I knew they were here, but I didn't know where to find them. There's literally nothing better when you're hungover than like oxygen and liquid IV. If you go around here is where you can go up to the tower, but I just okay. don't know if it's open. the way to the tower. Um, we're not sure if it's open or if we're allowed to head up there, but there's a ton of activities that you can do. Our favorite thing actually that we've done since we've been here was go to the LA Comedy Club that's actually located here in the Strat. Highly recommend going, some totally underrated comics. We had such a good time. Um, yeah, definitely worth going. The fish spa. I'm not doing that again. Something tells me there used to be more here, but they're like, refurbishing it since COVID. Yeah. Uh, how high is the jump? All right, we're just at the bottom of the sky jump. Uh, there's a guy, we just saw him go up. He's about to jump off the top of the stratosphere, which is 855 feet. So we're just gonna watch, see how he goes. How's that, bro? Oh, that was amazing. <laughs> Good work, man. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Cheers. Oh, that was awesome. Okay, so they do have that really cool observation deck, but you have to buy tickets to go up there. Um, we're not gonna pay that much money for it. <laughs> uh, but it does look pretty cool. I'm not sure if it's worth it. Have to check out another video, but um, it is pretty handy that something like that is in the building. Yeah, and there's also like a really fancy restaurant up there with a great view. I had a look at the menu and it was like $90 a plate, which if you know us, that's not really our style. <laughs> so um, we're gonna find somewhere a lot cheaper to eat tonight. <laughs> Have we been in one casino yet without a Starbucks? No, they're everywhere. Americans love Starbucks. <laughs> to the Strat Cafe. It's like a little diner they have here, which is like pretty reasonably priced food. We haven't been here yet, but it looks pretty good. Probably should have been here before. Yeah, it looks awesome, actually. <laughs> I love it in American diners, there's always a TV behind you playing sports. Thank you. Um, do you have hot sauce actually? Huh? Hot sauce? Uh, Cholula or Tabasco? Uh, Cholula. Thank you. Need a Cholula too. This looks pretty 
get yours looks so <laughs> <Dude>. big. <laughs> oh but look at the size of this pickle. Do you want it? Mm, yeah, I want it. Hey. Right. Love pickles. Did we get cutlery? Yeah, yeah. try that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It was actually good dinner. It was really good. The portions yeah. were massive. Definitely recommend. Okay, so we just Googled cheap accommodation in Las Vegas, and this is what came up. $14 for the Strat Hotel and Casino. The travel lodge is $48. I'm not sure why, but that's really, really cheap. Okay, so this is our room. It is the cheapest room in the cheapest hotel on the Strip, and it's actually not that bad. We've definitely stayed in way worse rooms before. The bed's super comfy. It comes with everything you need, and it has a pretty nice view of the city as well. And I've been dying for a bath because every place that we've stayed at has not had a bath in ages, so this place actually has a bath, which is a big thumbs up for me, which I wasn't expecting. No one loves a Christmas tree more than Mandy. <laughs> that's so true. I recommend if you need somewhere cheap to stay that's on the strip. Like you do have to walk quite a bit if you want to get to the main part of the strip, but I'd recommend staying here. I would too. But we're gonna to go to bed because we have to be at the airport at 4 a.m. tomorrow. Yeah. So that's it for us, I think. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Subscribe.